in this game? I mean, Ryan, that you, it's extra important to win this game, even for his future? Uh, I think winning is important, you know, point blank period. And I want to win, and I'm sure my, all my teammates want to win, just to you know, kind of finish the season on a good note. Um, I, I would like more than anything to win for him. You know, Coach Shannon, a, he's a great man. He's done a lot for me personally. And, uh, you know, I, I want to see him smile. I want to see him on top, and I never want to see anybody bash him. And anytime it does, it, you know, it hurts me. Brian, when, uh, when you were you a great high school player, when you were being recruited, uh, and somebody told you you, you weren't going to play, for ACC championship, we weren't going to go to BC in this bowl game. Would you have thought they were crazy? Yeah, probably thought they were slap stupid. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, my hopes coming into the University of Miami, uh, I mean, we were high. I know, uh, a national championship, an ACC championship. I mean, you, you name it, I, I would think I would have two or three rings by now. But, you know, everything, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And, uh, you know, I, like many of these guys that put on this team, I had a, I had an opportunity to go to a lot of colleges, just about any college in the nation that I want to. And, and I, I look back at my career now, and, and you guys know it's not a day that I don't get asked, do you wish you would have gone to Florida State? Do you wish you would have gone to this school? And I look back now, and I look back at what I've done on the field and off the field and the experiences that I've had with the people here, and I, and I wouldn't trade it in for the world. I really would. What's been the most disappointing part of this season? Just with the, There's been ups, there's been downs, but what, which part of the season disappoints you the most, would you say? I mean, losing is one thing. I mean, you go, you go into a game with all the expectations of um, we're able to win this game and we're going to win. But when you take a game like Virginia and you lose to guys who you, you know that you shouldn't lose to, you know, I, I can kind of sort of stomach Florida State and Ohio State. You know, these guys are amongst the nation's elite, as, just as we are. But, you know, to lose a game like Virginia, you know, that, that's one game that kind of really stuck out to me. Like, you know, I, I just didn't have any answer for it. And, you know, I just don't really understand how we, how we lost that game. What about the future here with the guys who will be here after you leave? Guys like Lamar Miller and Mike James and Sean Charles Henderson. What do you what do you see as the future here for some of these young guys? Well, I can only hope that you know the guys before me and me myself have left a good impression on how to be leaders and how to work hard. I definitely think the program is headed in the right direction, and you know we've been saying that for a couple of years. And I realize that every team, every school has a letdown. I mean, you look at Florida State, USC, you know, even Florida can even is, is even going back into a, I guess, going back into a kind of lax mode. These guys here, they know how to work hard, and they want to win. And that's something that I think if, if they have those two and they work hard and they want to win, it's going to it's gonna happen eventually. And I can't say pinpoint win, but I think if they just keep doing what they're doing and they keep believing in what the coaches are, are doing for them and trying to trying to do for me, executing plays, I think it'll, it'll happen. You know, these guys are great athletes, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys in this room that are going to play on Sundays one day. Ryan, do you, do you think the younger guys understand as well as you, older guys who have came in with him, what Coach Shannon is like and why he does things he does? Do you think they understand the young ones? You know, um, it's hard to say because I had to go through it myself my first two years, and, you know, I, we were dealing with so much. I mean, coming in as freshmen, and uh, probably more so than these guys have had to deal with because they have a, a stronger foundation of coaches here being here all the time. But I think that, um, you know, Coach Shannon, he, he's reaching out to him, and, and the program is, uh, is reaching out to him, and they do have a sense. You know, if, if the freshmen, don't, if they don't get it all together, I think they will, and I think they'll get it faster than we did. You know, it probably took me two and a half years to kind of come around and say, okay, this is for real. This is a football. This is, you know, life. This is, you know, I was a knucklehead when I came in. And I, I think that it took me longer than these guys will. I think it'll take them quicker to understand what really, what this is really about. And I think that's what the program, I mean, is headed in the right direction. It'll be better. Fair to say you were in Coach Shannon's doghouse early on? I, I, was, I wasn't in his doghouse. I was in his uh, kennel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, he, Coach Shannon wouldn't even talk to me, man. I mean, <laughs> we would pass by each other and we, we, he'd probably look at me. And, yeah say something like that, but, uh, you know, we've grown, and I mean, I love him to death, and I'm, and I'm sure he loves me, and we talk all the time, and I know there's not a thing I wouldn't do for him, I'm sure he feels the same way. Do you explain to the, the younger guys, because you hear sometimes about some of the younger players maybe being frustrated, maybe they right. haven't played, you hear about people transferring, transferring and all that, do you, do you sit and talk to them, the older guys, and explain how it is, or you don't? I mean, I, I try my best. Like when I hear a certain things, I try to take a player individually, and I'll, I'll say, "Man, okay, listen. You know, I understand that you know you feel like you're not playing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's it's always good for them to hear from an older guy, especially a guy who's been through it. I mean, you, you can take a guy who's an All-American, if, but if he's telling a young guy, I understand how he is not played, but he's never done it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of it's kind of looks like a, not really understanding. But from a guy like myself who's been through the world, when here, there, 
down at the bottom, up the top. I think they get more of an understanding, and I think that's one gift that I have. I can reach out to younger guys, and I feel like they understand me when I talk to them. At that point, 2006 was your first year? My right? first year. So that was a crazy year, right? <laughs> Brian got killed, uh, then he had to fight. Yeah, and some coup got shot, and coaches got fired. And yeah, yeah. The list goes on and on, man. I mean, I think I look back and see how, see how much stuff happened in that one year, and to see how you know we responded, and we didn't go to bowl game the next year, you know, it's crazy, and to see, you know, to see my my class of guys who are now playing in NFL or you know graduate or whatnot, you know, how they transformed from that, you know, uh, that was a shell shock to a lot of people, and that, and that put a, that could have put a lot of people under the bus because a lot of guys don't know how to handle that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you come from like, prestigious high school where you're always winning, and all of a sudden you come into a program and, and all that stuff happens at one time. That can be very you know dramatic to a player and his success on the field. You feel like you guys achieved, considering where you were at in the four years that you've been here. You've achieved uh, enough to be proud of. You know, that, that, that's a that's a real serious question. I mean, I think we've I think we've gotten better, and in a sense, yeah, you can't say we've achieved. I mean, I'm proud. I'm proud to say we moved on. You know, um, and we've gotten better. And you look at Coach Shannon and what he did when he came in, winning two more games every year. I mean, I know that really seems small, but that's that's a step forward. And anytime you take a step forward, I think you have to be proud of yourself because you didn't allow yourself to go back. How about this year? I mean, the chance, I guess, of matching last year's record, is that kind of? I mean, our hopes were half of the year. And, and you know, we thought we were going to double our wins, win two more games. And obviously, not. we're not going to have a chance to, um, you know, but at the same time, it's, it's also a judgment of character. You know, uh, football is a sport. I mean, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Unfortunately, we were in positions where we, we lost four games this season. And if you ask me, you know, anybody else on my team, we wouldn't have won to lose four games. But I think that we have to stand strong. We have to admit our wrongs and look at ourselves and say, okay, take responsibility for what it is. We made those decisions. We made these bad plays or whatever happened to cause us to lose the game. And, and you just can't put yourself in a – you can't go into a mode of solitude. you gotta, you got to push on, man, and that's what life's about. Do you get a feeling that people are going to look at this game and, and really judge you guys as a team based on what you do this last <clears throat> game here? Yeah, yes and no. Uh, anytime – I mean, anytime you're an athlete, it, 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 it sucks, I guess, because you get based off your performances. I mean, and uh, so many people judge you based off that. And uh, they, they have the right to. I mean, you know, that's what calling us for. I mean, everybody has a different role. There's players, there's coaches, there's radio talk show hosts, and everybody has a different role. Um, so, I mean, if they want to judge us off based off this one game, they can. But, I mean, we know in our hearts and we know what we've done this season and what it, what it has taken us to get to this point. And uh, we know what we'll do next year. And these guys, I'm sure they'll have a lot of fun playing in this game, and I'm sure they'll, they'll get better next year and have a, and have a wonderful season. Ryan, you guys judging yourselves off, off how you finish? Is that pretty much the way the team feels, you'd say? We got to finish strong, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I broke it down this morning on finish strong, and uh, that's that's probably our motto for the week. It's just finish strong, you know. I mean, this is a game where kids are gonna probably go home for Thanksgiving, and there might not be as many people there. But we we got to fight for what's what's in our hearts, you know, and, and fight for us. You know? So that's that's our motto for the week. Right? Do you care at all what bowl? You know, you're going to bowl already. Does it matter what bowl you go to? You just want to go to a different one. You know, it's not a major one. But how do you feel about that? Uh. I mean, a bowl game is a bowl game. I mean, obviously, you know, I, 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 I would lie to you say, I would say uh, that we want to go to a BCS bowl game, but, you know, it, it's a it's a blessing to have the opportunity to go to a bowl game. You know, the, the expectations here in Miami are so high, you know, national championship, BCS bowl game, but we're not going to have the opportunity, obviously. So you can't just sit here and say, okay, we're going to go to a bowl game and say we don't care about it. No, you, you want to go into this bowl game. You want to enjoy yourself. It's going to be around holiday time. It's Christmas time, I guess. And you're going to go out there and you're going to compete. I mean, because I think the last thing that, you know, Hurricane fans, the real Hurricane fans want us to do is go out here and be like days and lose. Uh, we haven't won a bowl game in two years, so I think the best thing we could do is go out here and try to win this one and come out on top and really finish the season strong. El Paso or Orlando, which one sounds more appealing? <laughs> Uh, I've never been to El Paso, so I, I probably have to say El Paso. You know, I, I'm a guy who likes to try different things. You know, I can go to Orlando anytime. And it's just crank the car up and go. Uh, but I mean, it, it's gonna be fun, man. Like, we're gonna make the best of it. Where, whichever one they, they allow us to be in, man, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be, you know, excited for it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna give 100%. Thanks, bro.